Okay, this is my latest plate design. It's an 11 plate setup and it's uh, negative positive negative. And I got the stainless steel. I was looking around the house trying to find something to use, see if I had something laying around. And what I got that from was a, uh, an old bread machine that we didn't use anymore. So I stripped it down. The whole interior of it was good stainless steel. So I scored. And uh, anything with the food industry is normally stainless because it's non-porous or whatever. But anyway, let's get back to it. This is a temporary... Uh, I ran out of distilled water, so I used some purified water. And I put some baking soda in here. And right now I'm experimenting with what I get. So let me kick it on and see if we get some action here. Well, I've definitely got a lot more than on the small plate setup. These plates are two inches wide. I cut them all myself. They're two inches wide. They're about six inches long, maybe six and a half inches long. And what I did is uh, I hit them all with the with the grinding wheel, both sides, both directions. That way, it'd have a nice little cross hatch pattern on there. And I gotta get some more distilled water because baking soda, I don't like it. But I'm I'm gonna keep dumping it in, see if I can do a measurement test on it. But this is what it looks like out of the water, spaced with zip ties, all stainless. And uh, I like spacing with zip ties; it's pretty good. And I'm gonna just keep cranking these things out, man try to come up with the best design for what I'm looking for. I'm looking to run a small torch, so if anybody knows what the minimum requirements are in liters per minute, let me know. Thanks.